my name is Anso Men, and also like a, the founder of the Pencil and Gallery, and also um, an artist, and also the writers, and also sometimes I do movie. So these are like I'm doing mostly all kinds of work. Yeah, the, to choose the pair of shoes in Myanmar is always like a difficult. In Myanmar, it's like a, when we are young, it's like a, we thought something very solid, but something solid and something strong mean that it's like should be very heavy. Mm. But like, uh, when I'm older, okay, the good shoe is like I have to be light and I also have to be durable. <laughs> and but it's also the design is always sometimes so so fancy and so cheap that I cannot wear. But I don't like the color and the design, so I'm painted it on it. Normally, I have just only two mostly. Yeah, we always climb up on the mountain. Uh, Mount Popa is like every year, so yeah. this is the first uh, place like uh, to to go there. And uh, normally people use the real shoe to climb up mountain, but I say I'm not used to with the shoe, so I'm just using that slipper. Yeah. It's funny, it's like I did that. It's like uh, about a year ago. So um, the the most I think interesting thing is that time that I climb up the mountain with that shoe, and also like it's also colorful because I painted it, and so I so feel like a kid. So like uh, I'm just painting on my shoe and also like uh, wearing and also climbing the Mount Popa and I think that might be the most, uh, also a lot of people are looking. Maybe they might thought it's uh, beautiful or they maybe they might thought I'm so childish or maybe <laughs> like that. So anyway, I think it's also most fun and most like interesting time to wearing and to climbing Mount Popa you before you leave your room. So I think it's like uh, it's, you have to prepare everything outside of your room, like uh, what kind of like it can be today can be not like a today what kind of day can be or it might be lucky or it might be good or whatever i think what i always remember is, but after i step outside of the door i forgot <laughs> my shoe <laughs> on is i live uh, mostly in yangon so yangon is as you know like a mostly very rainy so it's a, like i'm grew up in uh, middle Burma. it's a there's a no rain much so the slipper is to me is a too many meanings like a, because if I'm wearing slipper, I'm also not clever and not skillful like a Yangon, the original Yangon people, native Yangon people. That's also very funny. Most of the Yangon people can walk in the rain, in the water, not to get what you call that kind of splash, no? But I say I cannot do it. So I have to choose some slipper, but it also have to be thick. If someone is not fit with the slipper, and if your foot is bigger than the slipper, cut your the heel so it's a mean that it's, a, it's not wise so like a whenever we are sometimes thinking when we're doing something is a are we fit in that shoe and the slipper or do we need to cut our heel or do we have to find bigger shoe so this is always like a I think it's MMI is a some sort of problem. but it's always remind me about that it's like a when we're doing something is like that I'm in fit or not I think also like uh, also the shoe also teach a lot. Uh, the main thing is and the mind flexibility. I'm also I'm um, very stubborn in many many things. But it's a uh, the main thing I'm thinking uh, I want to achieve or uh, the my purpose or my aim or my dreams. I'm so much uh, uh, consistent or like a uh, persistent on on these things. But it's a uh, to reach there is like a you have to have a more flexible mind to reach there. So. Uh, I cannot change my principle, but I have to change the technique uh, or tactic. Also for people, the flexibility in mind to reach your purpose or to reach your aim is also an another important quality of human things. Mm. When you cannot get something, and if you're so much stuck on that, I think it's, you cannot move. But there's a something is you cannot. It's not available, but you can do something else. Yeah. People can move. But I think they don't know how to move their mind. I mean, I'm just trying to understand mainly is to understand the psychology of this country, this people. So for me, it's like my life, the whole life. Also, even though I'm, I did many many uh, business, I did many many job. I also did and work with too many people in many many field. So, but all of them are for me is like a, to learn about whenever like a, even in difficult situation, even also easy or even. Sometimes it's a cheap success, or even something very hard, difficult success, or whatever. Whenever these kind of situation are meeting the people, uh, meet with the, these people, 
Then I just want to know about their response, psychology, and also like uh, how they can be work together for their society or this country or and also like uh, other human like uh, good intention. For me, my life is also like uh, because I'm contented with this some more also. I also love uh, art and also like uh, I want to practice and also enjoy, uh, on art. I also want art in the society and everywhere. So all the process. Uh, doing like also the book publishing, uh, art gallery, and also like a, a sort of the lecture on like academy fee or the kind of thing. everything doing is to reach that kind of level and the more intellectual society and partly that. So I think it's fine. Uh, I just noticed that since I was 18, it's, uh, 18 is because 1980 movement I, I've been in there. So but these years also a lot of changes, good changes. But in physically and also for the country, I think a lot of bad changes too. And for this uh, country and for this society, and just one is to use their creativity more and to apply their cre creativity more for their society. If you solve with the creativity of that problem, I think it will. It is very helpful to for your whole life. People, if people don't have a creativity, they cannot solve the problem. They will become extremists. So this, I, I'm always worried about this country. I'm always trying to leave creativity, the practice of creativity, also in everything, also art, also like uh, maybe science, or maybe in technology, or maybe in business, or design, or everything. So I just want this art and creativity in the society. I think it's also, because also I think you're very creative. I think just only to Roma, you're a very creative person. I will move like uh, the most closest friends. Fast, <laughs> like that. Yeah. Everyone very friendly, like uh, and also everyone want to want. Uh, uh, I want everyone to understand the friendship in between and applying that as a more without the any interruption, that, that kind of thing. So. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much.